Next, let's take a look at our ruler command. To look at our ruler command, we're going to go to our tools page, and then in the measure section, we can use the ruler tool, which is the tape measure. And when I select that, it's going to allow me to select two points and tell me the exact distance between those two points selected. So I'll select just two points on here, and we can see at the bottom it brought up a window, and it says our distance is 50 foot 0 and 600 inches. We can see 50 foot 0, 600 inches in the x axis, and then our y and our z axis are zeros. I'll say OK. And if I rerun that command and select something here at an angle, we can see it. it's 93 foot 0 and 1 16th. Well, we can see it did do some rounding there because of our dimensional precision from our setup. If we take a look at our x axis, we can see that's 75 foot 0 and 55 foot 0 in the y. So, we can use this tool to get pretty accurate measurements as needed. However, being that we selected a point there on this angle, if I just select from that same vertex and go straight down or up, we can see that then gives us an angle dimension. If I take a look at this angle button here, we can see it's 53.7462 degrees. So using just selecting two points from your vertex and repeating that vertex, that's going to give you that angled dimension. Again, I can say OK and right click to close out of that command.